Richmond Baptist. I miss seeing you, I really do. And uh, I'm saddened by the rising case counts that, that we're seeing. Um, and so I, I wanna be part of the solution, but I still miss seeing people. And I tell you what, on a Sunday morning, it, it gets tiring sometimes to lead worship to a video camera. And I know you're on the other end and, and I know that we're in this together and that we're worshiping together and it, it's strange for you from your home. And it's just, a, it's just a very different season. And uh, all through Paul's letters in the New Testament, uh, Paul often writes like, how I long to be with you, how I wish I could be with you, how I wish I could see you in person, how I wish I could come and visit you, but, but I'm prevented or I can't for some reason. And, and, and Paul knew that, but he, he shared that, but he didn't dwell on it. He didn't, he didn't just stay with, well, because I can't, oh well. And that's the, the encouragement I wanna give us right now is, you know, the old cliche goes with every obstacle is an opportunity. And I believe God is doing something right now in this season. And I don't totally know what it is yet. I, I'm still seeking God. God, what are you doing? And, and I, I don't see all the pieces at play yet. Um, but I believe God is, is at work. I, I do. I believe that. Even when we don't see him, I believe that God is at work. And so I want us to, in this season, when we long to be together, to not to not let that be something that prevents us being the church, to not let that be something that prevents us from sort of belonging to each other and caring for each other and, and speaking the good news of Jesus into each other's lives, to encourage each other with the hope that comes in Jesus. You know, just to speak the power of the gospel, because there are ways we can still do that. I mean, Paul had to write a letter and someone had to carry it and, and he went through all this work to write it. And we have so many more means available to us to speak the gospel into each other's lives. And so I wanna encourage us right now that it's, it's okay. It's okay to long to be together. That's okay, we should, I'm glad we do. I'm glad we get emails of people saying, man, when are we gonna to meet together? I miss doing that. Because I'd be really sad if we didn't, if we didn't miss that, if we didn't want to ever be together again, that would be awful. But at the same time, to not just get lost in that, but, but to take steps forward and saying, okay, God, in this season, how are you gonna use me in, in other people's lives? How are you gonna allow me to speak in the good news into other people's lives right now in the methods I have available to us? And to be creative and to use the technology we have or, or even just write old fashioned letters. I mean, people still do that. But in this time, to share the good news of Jesus Christ with each other, even though we can't be in person the same way. And so I hope God is blessing you right now. I hope you're seeing him in your life and I hope you're allowing him to work in you and through you into the lives of others. So stay safe and more than that, keep seeking our God because he does amazing things even through the bizarrest of circumstances.